Hello students. Now we'll solve the second question of exercise 3.3. And here in this question, we have to determine which of the following are divisible by 4 and by 8. So we'll start with this question. And the divisibility test of 4 is that the last two digits should be divisible by 4. And for the divisibility test of 8, the last three digits should be divisible by 8. So for the first one, if we divide the last two digits by 4, it will be 72 upon 4. So 4 1 times, the remainder is 3, 32 and 4 8 times. Then it is divisible by 4 completely means the last two digits. So this whole number will be divisible by 4. And for divisible by 8, the last three digits means 572 should be completely divisible by 8. 8 7 times 56, remainder is 1, then 2 carry means 12 and 12 is not divisible by 8. So divisible by 4, but not by 8. Now in this question, the last two digits are 52. So we'll write 52 upon 4. That will be 30. It is divisible by 4. Then for 8, we'll write 352 upon 8. 8 4 times 32. Remainder is 3. 8 4 times 32. So it will be divisible by both 4 and both 8. So by both. In this one, the last two digits you will think of 0, means 2 0. But we can also write this like 55 into 100. So if we write it like this, then 100 is divisible by 4. If we divide this by 4, then it will be 25, means it completely divides 100. So it will be divisible by 4. But for 8, if we write 55 into 100, upon 8. Then 55 is also not divisible by 8 and 100 is also not divisible by 8. So it won't be divisible by 8. Then we can write only by 4 but not by 8. Now in this part, 6000 can be written as 6 multiplied with 1000. Now 1000 can be divided by 4 completely. That is 250 means it, it will be divided by 4 completely and 6 into 1000 upon 8, 8 also cuts 1000, 125 times. So it will also be divisible by it completely. So both will divide. And the last part. This is the simplest part you will see among these because the units place is 9, it is not an even number, so it won't be divisible by 2. And if a number is not divisible by 2, it cannot be divisible by the multiples of 2, means 4, 6, 8, etc. So, this, no. So, this is how you can solve these type of questions, and the remaining parts will solve in the next video. Thank you.